Hey y'all, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do another review today on a nonfiction book that I like. Um, being an English major, I had to read a lot of nonfiction in college. Um, and um, then moving on to like Korea, my creative writing, I also got into like reading um, nonfiction and writing nonfiction. Um, like creative nonfiction and I really enjoyed that too and so I was like let me go ahead and pick up um, a nonfiction book and the one that I had set my eyes on was The Opposite of Loneliness by Marina Keegan. Um, now if you don't know who Marina Keegan is that's okay uh, because she is a one-time author and the reason why is she is um, I'm just going to read it. It goes, she's an award-winning author, journalist, playwright, poet, actress, and activist. This girl had a lot under her belt. Her nonfiction has been published in the New York Times. Her fiction has been published on TheNewYorker.com and read on NPR's selected shorts. Her musical, Independence, was a New York Times critic's pick. Marina's final essay for the Yale Daily News, she went to Yale University, um... The Opposite of Loneliness became an instant global sensation viewed by more than 1.4 million people from 98 countries. Um, she died, I think, about five days after her graduation from Yale University. And the title essay, The Opposite of Loneliness, is her essay. And it was her, I think it was given at her, um, like, she was the commencement speaker. And she, it, it was just, I picked this book up at a right time in my life. I just finished college. I, I was just like, I literally just finished. It was about a week into my summer when I had, I was like, you know, I, I still hadn't gotten a job and everything and I was upset and I was like, man, I was like, I'm so down in the dumps. And so one day I was at Barnes and Nobles and I found this. This has been on my list forever. And so I'm like, I need to pick this up. I just something told me I needed to pick it up. And I'm so happy that I did because the opposite of loneliness, she talks about what all of us college graduates go through whenever we leave. And she's like, are we just numbers or are we people? And after reading this, after reading the first um, essay, which is The Opposite of Loneliness, I automatically was like, I've, I feel like this. I, this is what I feel like right now. This is exactly how I feel. And I didn't know this girl. I didn't, you know, I've never gone, you know, I'd never met her before except through book and through her book. And so I, that was the main thing that made me want to keep reading her stuff. I loved it. It was such a beautiful read. She has short stories and essays. She has fiction and nonfiction and all of them. She has such a just great grasp on life and death and love. Um, and her, even in the dedication page, her parents were like, we want y'all to realize that this is about love. This is about, you know, her love for, um, her, you know, whatever, her, her, just love. And, and you got a really good sense of that. You get a really good sense of who she is as a writer. She's such a really good writer and it's so enviable, um, because as a writer myself or an amateur writer myself, I want to try, you want to have a really good voice like she does and, um, just a really good presence and she does. And I, it spoke, this book spoke to me on volumes. It was modern, it was current, I mean, this was written in 2014, but this was modern and current, and it was what I needed right then at that point in my life. And you know how some books are perfect for you at this one point in your life, and then you're like, yes, I needed this book, or whatever, and then you pick up a book, the next one, and it's like, no, you know, I'm not in the right season for this, or I'm just not feeling this book right now, it's just not... I, you know, it, it's, it's not your season. And I feel like that with books a lot. You know, sometimes I'll pick up a book. I'll be like, yes, you know, I want to read it. But then I get to it and I'm like, this isn't the right time for me to read this yet. There's going to be a time for me to read it. Well, it, it was fate, destiny. I don't know what it was, but it was something that told me to pick this book up. Um, my favorite obviously is 
um, is the first, let me go find the page, is the first one, which is the opposite of loneliness, and it just, oh, it's so beautiful. I want to read it, um, if y'all don't mind, but it goes, we don't have a word for the opposite of loneliness, but if we did, I could say that that's what I want in life. What I'm grateful and thankful to have found at Yale, and what I'm scared of losing when I wake up tomorrow after commencement and leave this place. It's not quite love, and it's not quite community. It's just this feeling that there are people, an abundance of people, who are in this together, who are on your team. When the check is paid, and you stay at the table. When it's 4 a.m. and no one goes to bed. That night with the guitar, that night we can't remember. That time we did, we went, we saw, we laughed, we felt the hats. Yale is full of tiny circles we pull around ourselves, a cap, a acapella groups, sports teams, houses, societies, clubs, these tiny groups that make us feel loved and safe and part of something even on our loneliest nights when we stumble home to our computers, partner, partnerless, tired, awake, we don't have those next year, we won't have those next year, we won't live on the same block as all our friends, we won't have a bunch of group texts. This scares me. More than finding the right job or city or spouse, I'm scared of losing what of this web we're in. This elusive, indefinable opposite of loneliness. This is this feeling I feel right now. Um, is that not just beautiful? Um, especially for all of you college graduates out there, it's it's so amazing and even now I just read it I'm like man I still feel that I'm like I, I, I feel you know like it gives you just a good the first one just gives you a really good sense of of what it's like you know you're you're you have friends in college and you have that web of friends who you love very much and then you leave and it's kind of like you get out of touch with them and it's just it's heartbreaking, but she did such a good job. I love her other nonfiction as well. And I think it's... I like Reading Aloud, The Emerald City. I like Baggage Claim. Um, and then there's really one... There's one in her nonfiction. It's called Why We Care About Whales. Um, and I really like the other one. It's called Even Artichokes Have Doubts. I really... I really just, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. I gave it five stars. I still give it five stars. Fiction, nonfiction, essays. It's just, it's a beautiful book. And I recommend anyone who is my age, I'm in my 20s, who's just graduated college or who's getting ready to graduate college, please pick it up. Please go read it. If not that one, then read the first, first book. I mean, the first, like, essay in there. It's absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful and I love it I th I hate that she died um only five days after her graduation I it breaks my heart um and you know she she just writes what we're all feeling she you run into those authors very rarely in life but when you do <clears throat> JK Rowling um but when you do you want to make sure that you hold on to their words and you want to hold on to their um message that they're trying to get across to you in your book in their book because more than likely, they're going to have something important to say. And she also is very, like, she's also an environmentalist. So she's very into, like, saving the environment and things like that. And I really loved that about her as well. Um, and she's a journalist. And, you know, your girl, back when I was in college, I was in, you know, I was on my school newspaper. And I really enjoyed it. And so as from jur as journalist to journalist, you know, I kind of felt like we have a camar camaraderie that, you know, not a lot of other people who pick up her book would. Um, and coming from a journalist's perspective, I thought she did a really phenomenal job as well. Um, with just her nonfiction, she has a way with words. You know, there's a reason why she's on the daily, the Yale Daily News, and there's a reason why she has these stories published because she was just a phenomenal writer. Um, as a writer, it's hard to establish your voice. Even now, I'm trying to find my voice. And so, when you can find your voice and it be something like that and you just stick to it, and she, you could tell, you don't even know Marina Keegan at all, but you could tell she had a voice. She had found her voice as a writer and you could tell that she was just really into using it. She wanted to use it. She loved it. And I was like... 
I want that. <laughs> I want to do that. I want to find my voice. But it was just, again, I don't know what else to say about this. This was such a good book. Um... Any age, I'd recommend it, but particularly, like, especially if you're getting ready to graduate college, please read it, um, or you have gra just graduated college, congratulations, um, first of all, but, like, it's just, yeah, it's so beautiful, and I loved it, and it was just, it impacted me, and it's one of those books that come along, and it just impacts you in a way that you never expected it to, so, yep. That's it. I hope y'all had a great day. I hope you go and pick the book up because it's really great. Make sure you go find it in the essay section at Barnes & Nobles or online at Amazon, but essay section in Barnes & Nobles because I went to go look in the fiction and I couldn't find it anywhere and I was like, how in the world am I going to find this book? So I went up and, and they found it for me. So there you go. Um, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. Uh, keep checking out my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, just check it out. If you, you know, have hit the notification button and you're not getting notifications, please just keep looking on my page every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and you'll see a video is up there um, at one point or another. So, yeah. Just keep it up. Um, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.